Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And today in this video, I'm going to discuss about Simpsons 3 by 8 rule. Till now, we have studied trapezoidal rule, Simpsons 1 by 3 rule, and here comes the time to learn Simpsons 3 by 8 rule. Link for the previous videos are in the description. You can watch them one by one through the description link in the description and without any further delay let's get started so guys moving toward this the discussion on this rule uh, first of all i would like to take you through the formula for this rule that, and it says that integration of fx dx from lower limit a to upper limit b will be equals to 3 by 8 times h whole multiply by y0 plus y1 yn plus 3 times y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus y5 it is excluding all the terms which are multiple of 3 and plus 2 times all the numbers which are multiples of 3 and now after uh, having looked toward the uh, formula we will have a, so go for a numerical uh, based upon this rule and here we go so here we are asked to find or evaluate integration of 2 by 1 plus x cube from lower limit 0 to a dx by using Simpson's 3 by 8 rule so first of all we need to calculate the value of h y naught y n accordingly and then after calculating the value we will put those value uh, to the corresponding variables and then we will calculate the final answer and that will be our integration of the given equation so if we compare this uh, this term with the our formula then it says from here we will get that a will be equals to 0 and b will be equals to 1 so b will be equals to 1 and we have one more formula how to calculate h h is actually the height of interval and n is the number of interval n is the number of interval suppose if we consider a line then if we divide this line into n equal parts then that is in number of interval n is number of interval means number of equal parts and h is the length of each part or height of each part this uh, spacing uh, spacing is called h so we can calculate the value of h h will be equals to b minus a upon n and suppose we are uh, we are assuming that from 0 to 1 there are six equal parts so we are assuming that between zero to one there are six equal parts so we will have n will be equals to six and b is one minus zero so from here we will have h equals to one by six now after getting the value of h we need to calculate the value of y naught uh, y1 y2 y4 yn uh, for the corresponding value of x and for that we need to draw a table here so we will substitute a value of x and uh, with respect to that value we will get the value of uh, y and we have here y equals to fx equals to uh, 2 upon 1 plus x cube and let me draw a table so guys now time to put the value of x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 and x6 so we whenever uh, we are start whenever we are solving a problem we will start with x0 and x0 will be our lower limit of the given uh, function and of uh, for the integration that is we have a equals to 0 so our x0 will be equals to 0 because we are beginning from here now when we are moving for x1 then x1 will be equals to x0 plus h similarly x2 will be equals to x1 plus h x3 will be equals to x2 plus h guys now for x1 put the value of x0 equals to 0 because we have x0 equals to 0 plus h is our 1 by 6 so 1 by 6 so our x1 will be equals to on adding 0 plus 1 by 6 we will have 1 by 6 similarly x2 will be equals to x1 plus h equals to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 6 it will be equals to 2 by 6 so put here 2 by 6 similarly x3 will be equals to 3 by 6 but equals to 1 by 2 3 uh, 3 2 times equals to 6 so x3 will be equals to 1 by 2 and x4 will be equals to uh, 4 by 6 
x5 will be equals to 5 by 6 and here one more we will have x6 also x6 will be equals to 6 upon 6 which will be equals to 1 and uh, let me increase the table length so this much now what we need to do is now what we need to do is we have to put the value corresponding value of x here in this equation means here we have 2 by 1 plus x cube so in place of x we will put x equals to 0 then that will be our value of y node on putting the value of x node here in this in this in this much portion we will get the value of y node so uh, 2 upon 1 plus 0 0 to the power 3 will be equals to 0 so 2 upon 2 by 1 will be equals to 2 similarly x1 will be equals to 2 upon 1 plus and 1 by 6 to the power 3 1 by 6 to the power 3 so either you can put it in fractional form x equal x equals x equals to 1 by 6 or you can convert this fractional form into decimal using calculator and uh, you can directly put in place of x that decimal value and we will get x1 equals to uh, sorry y1 y1 will be equals to 1.99 similarly y2 will be equals to 1.92 and y3 will be equals to 1.78 similarly y4 will be equals to 1.54 y5 will be equals to 1.26 and y6 will be equals to 1 now after getting this value what we need to do is i am going to rewrite the equation that is integration of from 0 to 1 and 2 upon 1 plus x cube dx will be equals to now put the corresponding value for the each and every terms that is 3 by 8 multiply by h we have got h equals to 1 by 6 so 1 by 6 multiply by y naught plus y1 y naught plus yn and y and n is the number of uh, intervals and we have uh, considered 6 intervals so y naught will be equals to 2 and y 6 is 1 so 2 plus 1 and three times y1 plus y2 and y4 y5 so add this to 1.99 plus 1.92 plus 1.54 plus 1.26 and plus two times multiples of three and multiples of three is only one two terms here we have y3 and y6 so 1.78 plus 1 and close the bracket and on adding this using calculator we will get the final answer that will be integration of this um, portion 2 by 1 plus x cube and you will get 1.79 answer this is the same question which i have solved using the simpsons 1 by 3 rule now i hope you understood this example and uh, see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself